In lesson three of module two, the students are interpreting um, dividing of fractions using more models, and I love it. Um, this is probably one of my favorite lessons, and I started the lesson today with a very simple problem that I know that kids can do, and it's the basis of what we're doing with fractions. Um, draw a model to represent 12 divided by 3. So I'm going to take 12 holes. Okay, now that I have 12 holes, I want to see, I want to divide it by 3. And the way this lesson would like you to look at it, see how many groups of 3 fit in to the whole number 12. So I'm going to change the color of my pen, and I'm going to see how many groups of 3 fit into 12. This is one group of 3. This is another group of 3. Another group of 3 and another group of three. There are one, two, three, four groups of three in 12. And we're gonna apply this very simple idea to um, fractions using visual models, okay? So if you scroll down, the first one I did with the students is eight ninths divided by two ninths. So the students have to start by drawing eight ninths. And I'm going to shade it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of the nine are shaded. Okay, now this question is asking me how many groups of two ninths fit into eight ninths. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to circle my groups of two of the nine boxes. There's one group of two, here's another group of two, here's another group of two, here's another group of two. There are one, two, three, four groups of two ninths in eight ninths. And I want the students to start looking at how looking at how they got the answer of four from here. Once the denominators of fractions are the same, Students merely have to divide their numerators to get the answer. 8 divided by 2 gives you an answer of 4. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, 9 twelfths divided by groups of 3, divided into groups of 3 twelfths. Okay, I'm going to shade in 9 of the 12 boxes. And I'm looking for groups of 3, how many groups of 3 twelfths fit into 9 twelfths? There's one group of 3. Here's another group of 3. Here's another group of 3. There are 1, 2, 3 groups of 3 twelfths that fit into 9 twelfths. And again, I'm going to ask the students to concentrate on this. They can get their answer simply by doing 9 divided by 3. Once the denominators of the fractions are the same, it's almost like we don't even need to look at them. Okay? So let's go to a different one. They're not always going to end up as whole numbers like this. Sometimes they might be a little tricky like this one, okay? And this is still really easy if I can explain it well to you. I would encourage the students to draw seven ninths first. Okay, hopefully they're taking their time to use their colored pencils. I'm gonna color seven out of the nine boxes. Okay. The question is asking us how many three ninths fit into seven ninths? How many groups of three ninths fit into seven ninths? We're really looking for groups of three. Okay, so I'm going to change my pencil color. There is one group of three. 
there's another group of three. So we have two whole groups of three. But now we have this guy right here who doesn't make a full group of three. So we still have one left over out of the groups of three total that we are looking for. So the answer to this should be two and one third. And again, when I'm teaching the lesson, I'm gonna draw the students back to this. When the denominators are the same, we are just dividing our numerators. Seven divided by three is the same as this. Three is gonna go into seven two whole times, matches our whole number. Two times three is six. And there is one left over right here, out of the three that we were looking for, two and one third. I hope this is a great explanation of lesson three.